Hello! Welcome to Ballet Popular. My name is Ibrahim Perez. And my name is Maria Pupari. Here in Ballet Popular, we'll help you be to play through dance. What? He wants to say, here in Ballet Popular, we're helping you build your passion and influence through dance. So if somebody is watching, please let us know. We appreciate it. So what is the topic of the day? Let's go, baby. So when she's going to talk to you about it, I'm going to check if it's anybody in Facebook so we can say hello. Let's go. My guess is nobody there yet. Don't, don't be like that. Come on, tell people about the show. What's okay, going on? Okay, so right now it's, uh, what, it's February and it's the high audition season for ballet companies. So we thought it would be appropriate to bring a topic that is related to that. So we, today we're going to talk about whether the ballet auditions is actually a ripoff for dancers trying to get a job. In ballet companies, of course. So, like, I, like, you notice I'm not talking too much because our audience are telling me that I talk too much. So it's okay. I'm going to be a little bit more quiet. Instagram, no, you Facebook. Can, you can talk, but just don't. I just get people don't like my voice. I don't know. Anyway, I, I know she's cuter than me, but yes, the topic of the day is is that audition repuff. I will explain all of this right now. So let me just check very quick here, Facebook. What are your notes? Oh, that's what I'm missing. That's what I'm talking about. You see, we are in a show and what is your book? But you were rushing me like, baby, hey, 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 hey. it's like, baby, we gotta go live, gotta go, go live. Ow. Okay, so okay, yes, I'll what is back. your show? Well, I wanna keep you entertained. So pretty much what we're talking about today is auditioning, right? If you're a dancer in New York City and you're trying to get in a ballet company, things are becoming a little more complicated. Let me explain. So lately, a few years from now, auditions are deciding to charge people to get a job. Yes, kind of messy. Who else say, hey, what's up, Steven? Thank you for watching. Gracias por ver el show. I don't know, come on. Where'd you put it? I didn't put it, I didn't touch it. Sorry, but our notes, she's looking for it. I can't believe she's doing this. Anyway, so right now, like if you wanna get a job in a big company in New York, on top of paying for your training, paying for like years of like hardcore, you know, getting the technique right and everything, you have to pay a fee to be seen, to be maybe, maybe, you know, able to get a job. And that's the controversy that we're talking about. Um, and we did some mathematics last night and figured out how much will it cost to somebody to like being in New York and do an audition pretty much tour around the city and how much will that be? So, anyway, that's up. Ah. Hold on, Steven said we can hear you. Why? Really? Come on, Instagram. They can hear me. Instagram cannot hear us or? Yeah, he says he can hear anyway. Take care of this while I take care of that. Can Facebook hear us? Yeah, let me know if you can hear me, Facebook. So, I don't know if it has to do with the volume. I don't know. Yo, can you hear me now? Let me know if you hear me here. Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? No? Uh, well. Okay, we have our notes here. Ah, of how much would pretty much cost of someone, of, of, some, of a ballet dancer, let's say that is living in New York, to audition for the different uh, companies that are coming to New York to do their auditions. So we did a little mathematics. Okay, so. But we're going to talk about it first. Like anyway, see. people in um, Facebook, can you hear me? Let me know, please. Say yes, it's okay. No, no good. Let me know, please. I'm waiting. Thank you. Oh, okay, Lito, would you good in Instagram? It's just my friend. Anyway, move on. Thank you. So what's up, Lito? Can you hear us? Can you hear us in Facebook? How's your finger? My finger, yeah, I know. I, I, I cut my finger. He, he's asking me. Uh, anyway, so can you let me know on Facebook if we are good? I think we're okay. I think so. Anyway, hold on. This one's continue, continue, continue. Okay, so uh, am I gonna start talking about it already? Wait one second. Yes. Are we good? Yes. Thank you. We're good. We're All right, so let's go with this topic. So it's very hard. It's very kind of shocking. So hit it, baby. What you got? So I'm gonna be very, you know. Sophisticated. You, know, see my... you got? Come on, come on, come okay. on. Do you play too much today, baby? Come with on. your I... finger. Dude, 
I'm serious. It's not an entertaining <laughs> show. It's not like a it comedy show. It is an entertainment show. show. Oh, yeah. This is like, this is not Lucy and Ricky Ricardo. Come on, get out. Come on, we gotta do it. Come on, get up yourself. Anyway, uh, so, first thing, if you're auditioning, you're not going to go with them empty handed, like not prepared at all. Like he said too, I was listening, you know, you have to train yourself too. So first of all, it's the fees the, uh, that you pay for your classes to maintain your technique. Well, that we didn't really make an estimate because it really so depends first, on the let me, person. Let me interrupt. First, we did a show a long time ago and we did all the mathematics, how much will it cost a kid to train. It, yeah. it was 200, 200, 000, 200 no, $250,000 from the age of like five all the way to 16. Yeah, maybe college too. Yeah, all of that. So yeah. you, your parents pay $250,000 for you to become a dancer, right? So yeah, you already paid enough to reach the level of um, being able to dance professionally and perform. But after you graduate from high school or whatever, you need to keep training yourself if your plan is to audition for companies. Yep. But in order to do that, if you're an adult, you might have a job too and everything. So you have to keep paying for your classes this time to maintain yourself and or even improve your technique. So if you are living in New York, the classes can cost from 15 to 21 dollars per class. So there depends how much you you kind of like balance it out yourself. You can take classes a couple of times a week, maybe go to the gym or do a class at home so you can you know, that it's a little bit more personal, right? How much they will spend. But imagine, if you if you want to take at least three to five um, uh, ballet classes um, a week, and each class is like $20, that's $60 a week. So, it's $240 per month just to maintain your technique. Agree? Yes, agree. So, mm. that's the first part. You have to be in shape first before you audition. Second thing, is when you go to an audition people want uh, a printed uh, resume and most of the times uh, a headshot and a full body picture right yes. so here comes the fees for you know at least for printing your pictures let's say you audition for at least 20 companies you need a couple of few copies of that so let's put down like fifty dollars for printed resumes and pictures yeah, so you have $50 to have several Let's copies see. so you can actually bring it to the audition. On top of that, she was talking about, you gotta hire a photographer. Before that, yeah, how are you gonna get your pictures? So the thing with dancing, for you guys that don't know and the ones that know but kind of maybe don't have a really good idea, also if you're planning to audition right now, if you're here in New York City, we're gonna be talking about some dates in there for some companies so you can actually check it out. Uh, we didn't put the ones that already passed. So you have some that are going to be happening soon. So, you know, write it down if you don't want to be going through the internet like we do, looking for every single one. So, what's going on? Scaring me. Sorry, baby. So you hire a photographer. This is how it works. You graduate, you're good to go, you want to get a job. First mm -hmm. of all, you don't have experience. Well, yeah. You don't have experience. You ever dance before professionally. Second, you don't have photos, you don't have no resume. So your resume is going to say, I trained with, ba 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 ba. Dance experience, nothing. So most likely you're gonna start making things up. You know, I dance in this little show with my school and this da da da, da whatever. Yeah. It's not experience. So, yeah, it just leads your performance in the school. Yes, yeah, so how are you gonna get your face out there? Well, you need to get really good photos. And I'm talking about like very good ones, like quality magazine photos. And they don't come cheap. No, nope, they you, don't. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me talk. You need, I know I'm gonna get bashed because of that. You need, a headshot and you need a couple of photos in certain positions, you know, at a best. Can yeah, like be, some kind of Like dance body. photos, yes. So, that's money. You can easily hire an okay, maybe mediocre photographer that is just hustling for 200 to $300. Dollars. You know, and those shots might, uh, they might be, you know, outside Side. or... Because the photographers might not um, own a studio yeah. or if they do the studio, they might rent a dance studio, but you know, they have to bring equipment and all of that. So you're going to have to mm -hmm. pay for that on top of the feet of the photographer. But usually outside photographs, uh, outside pictures right now, they don't really are not really considered that professional. Yes, right? they do. I so mean, if they, you take a photo outside in the park, it might look fantastic, but it's not really what you want to present to somebody yes. that is looking for dancers. So if you want to get the best of the game, you have maybe 
two photographers, even one photographer that I'm not even gonna mention because I'm not really being paid to give them advertise yeah. or anything. So hell no, because I think it's overpriced and it's a monopoly. Some of you might know already. Yeah, so but... I don't wanna talk about them because they, oh, because it's, it don't make no sense. So, but what the rates. What we're trying to say is that these one or two photographers that are there that people know about, they have the monopoly of the game. Yeah, that would be like another show we should do about it. But anyway, there is one two, or two yeah. photographers that they control their whole dancing. If you want really good pictures, you you, you don't have a choice. If you, you don't have to go to them. Because on top of them, everybody knows them. Mm -hmm. And even though if you present your photo and on the bottom you have their name, you know, the directors will pay attention to all of that. And on top yes. of that, they want to make dance videos too. So they want to get even more of your money. So, whatever. So, yeah, I mean, the minimum at least to get a nice picture uh, shot by a very good professional uh, photographer, it, it will be at least a thousand dollars for the session. And sometimes... One hour, one hour. Ah, uh, maybe one, one I, hour, I don't know two. the specifics. We don't know. First of all, okay. let me clarify. We didn't really want to go and get in touch with this person. Because the press are not public. That's the yeah, they're not public. Reason. You have to go and get a quote and you have to give your information, your Instagram yeah. and all that. So we don't want them to know that we are searching. I just heard from another fellow dancer. People and we look that. around. Anyway, we search for another people experience and that's how much can of goes. A I mean, little it could, bit. It could even be more, who knows. Because also, let's say you wanna shoot um, multiple outfits, different looks, it might cost you even more because the session will be more hours. It might be up to 1500 or even more, who knows. And they don't even give you the all of the pictures they give you a couple of pictures that yeah because well, you, you're, you know? pay, you're paying for something but remember they have to retouch the photos that i so, was about to say that you too. know like and that costs money because you know they the package might be i give you a headshot and a couple of photos but maybe you want three more they need to take the time to retouch them make it look great and all of that and clean it yeah and some of those pictures don't be don't be full some of those pictures are a little bit photoshopped yeah a lot of them are photoshopped so anyway moving on from that so it's a thousand dollars for that and then what else? Um, yeah, and on top of that, some of the um, are we done with the pictures? Yeah, I mean, yeah. You, you pay a thousand dollars for good photos. That's thousand part of at the expenses. Least, if yes. you want to have a good one. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to say something, my people. I'm gonna give you a tip for all of you over there, guys. And I'm gonna share this for every single dancer that want to pretty much get a good video going. This is a freebie for you. You don't really need to pay thousands of dollars and maybe it's working backlash around me because I'm trying to make my business too, film people, you know, and helping out. But it's okay, I think if you help people, you know, you get things back. Mm -hmm. It's a, I don't have, it's an app. I'm not being paid for this, okay? It's an app on the Apple Store that you can download for $19.99. I'm gonna have to get out of the phone to find it. Uh, give me one sec, give me one second. To hold it? No, it's okay. Okay, the app is what we call Luma Fusion. Okay, I'm gonna come closer. You can see that little one right there. That's the logo. That's how it looks like. But I'm gonna write it in the description. It's called Luma F Fusion, and this thing is nineteen dollars, right? What am I gonna say with this? I use this sometimes when I just do like quick videos and editing around. The editing is super easy super easy you can do it in your phone so if you have uh, you know you don't really have to pay thousands of dollars because this but, but the, we didn't get to the point when you wouldn't explain well, well, we're talking about uh, sometimes you can audition through video that's what we didn't yes yeah, so we're, we're trying to save you some money okay that's what i'm trying to do so, so you pay 19.99 and please guys do not be fool you know be fool because honestly this is what you need to do you rent a studio very early in the morning from eight to nine Make sure you have that. You get there super early. Some you studios do that, yeah. You They're buy. Cheaper. You buy. I mean, you use your phone. Most of the uh, very good phones have really good cameras. They're not gonna be 4K cameras. I know that, but they're gonna be 1080p. So they're gonna be like high quality. It's gonna look mm -hmm. really good. So you might not have lights. I understand that. Go around New York City. Go around your cities and find a good studio that have natural lights and rent it very early. Warm up well and then get a tripod and a little thing that hold the phone and put it right there in a vertical position. Yes, right. Vertical? Uh, horizontal, no. yeah. Horizontal. Horizontal position. And you have it there and you film your thing and keep doing it over and over. When you have that, you go to LumaFusion 
and then you put in your your, your little clips import your and you import the clips and you know guy if you if you don't know about it you go online go to facebook check it out because it's tutorials it's super easy to use so you can put your own dance video together and you can clean it there you can put filters you can make it look like if you have like if it's too dark you can make it lighter so that's a freebie for all of you so please you know spend yeah. thousands of dollars on a video with some photographers that they never done video in their life and now they're gonna just rip you off making videos for you luma fusion and it's not a pay advertising i like this thing it's super good buy it and you can do your dance realm that's how you call it dance real over there but, seriously yourself but also remember that's the other thing uh the most of the companies don't want a very, very edited uh, video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't want like a gimbal style. Well, I'm not talking you know, about. Like, not, okay, okay. Let me, let me, let me go because we're going off topic. I'm not talking about like going crazy to become like chop, chop, put it together. Like you put your phone there. Remember that dance videos are very straightforward. That's you want to see you dancing? No, no cuts, no edits. Just you make sure you're there. You put your phone very far away. Make sure you get a stool that is deep enough. So you can put it deep enough because this doesn't have such a big wide angle. So, and then just film it. You film it one more time, three times, and then you pick the best. You take it to the software, iMovie, none of that. Don't use that shit. Sorry my language, but that's you know, it's too much headache. And it's not good. So the Luma Fusion thing, swear to God, they don't pay me for this. I, they're not. I wish they were, but they're not. So, but there is such a good product and it's just 1999 and you can put like good videos, you can do intros, you can do all sorts of things and you even, I believe you can even do like little uh, trailers and so it's worth paying anyway, for yes. dancers. So get that there, don't pay thousands of dollars, just pay a little bit money and be smart. Move on. But we're trying to get to how much it costs. So we talked about, you know, printing your resumes and your pictures, having the photo shoot beforehand so, so you can have some pictures, uh, paying for the rentals. Uh, so you can book a studio to practice, to practice if you to want rehearse, to film, yes. if you're applying through video and then if you are doing yourself video shoot you can do it for kind of relatively free. That's a good, actually that's a great idea. What? I'm gonna do a tutorial about how to do a dance video yourself. That's true. Okay, nice, coming up. I'm gonna use Maria as a you know model and then I'm gonna show you guys how to edit it very quick to make it look pretty good. That's it. That's it. You're welcome. Next. That's a good idea. I'm gonna do it. Okay. <laughs> Moving on, people. Is dance auditions a rip off or not? Let me know what you think in the comments. So, Maria, thank you very much. Great idea. She says in Facebook, uh, Zachary, my friend, thank you for seeing the show. Seeing the show, that's right. For watching the for show. For watching the show. Appreciate you. Who else we have here? Lito, of course. And then Instagram, Steven. Hello, my brother. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Let's go. Continue. Okay, so what we're trying to get next is um, also, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to talk about the auditions that are happening in New York and let's say about someone that already lives in New York. But still, you need to pay for your traveling. Okay, no, 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 no. Right? because we're going everywhere and nothing is okay. clear. Well, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we fight all the time. This is what we did. This is what we did? I don't know. Man, my what English shots. So, this is what we do. We put ourselves in a position if we are going to audition, right? Yes. So, we select all of the auditions that happen in New York City and then we did a budget of how much it will cost us to do that ourselves. So, if you're in New York, this is going to be very helpful because this is how much it's going to cost you. So, go ahead. Start one by one. How many? Let's just be very clear. We need to do all the details. We just talk about the companies and where they are like auditioning and then that's it. Um, okay, what, what I'm trying to say is that we, it's a lot of um, it's a lot of costs already going into preparing for an audition. Yes. And on top of that, there's other complications that come along the way. What I'm trying to say is that you are preparing for all these auditions, for your uh, for your pictures, for your video, for your traveling, for your point shoes if you're a ballet dancer. And on top of that, the companies. Whoever came up with the idea is crazy because now they charge you an audition fee or a registration fee, whatever the, the heck they call it. So you, they, the directors can see you audition. Okay, for anybody out there that never know or don't know about dancing, this is what it is. Ballet companies are charging you to apply for a job. 
No Broadway show, no modern company, no international National companies. companies. The exactly. U.S. is charging you to be seen. So US let me put it. Companies. Let me put it in a very simple way. I just finished high school. I went to college. I graduate, and then I'm gonna work in a, you know, lawyer's firm because that's what I study. So they will pretty much see me, but I have to pay them a hundred dollars so they can see my resume. That's pretty much what it is. So it's not that much. I just put a, a, a random number there, but that's pretty much the, the a how relative it is. Example. Example. So this company that I love, I want to audition, but it's not. Oh, come and audition. We want to see you. They see what you got. No, it's like okay, we want to see you, but you have to pay us to see us twenty-five to thirty-five dollars, sometimes even forty. Just and remember, you're unemployed. Yes. You're trying to get a job, and they're charging you forty bucks or twenty dollars. To in see front you. to see you and sometimes they say thank you but we don't need anybody this is the worst sometimes everybody already paid that in the in the audition room with a hundred people and the director said thank you all for coming right now we're not really we don't have any open spots but we want to keep looking at it, all of you and keep the resume what a kind of bull mm. is that Imagine you, if even if you travel from another state or somewhere to go to that audition, and then they tell you they're not looking for anybody. Like ah, what I don't get is dancers. This they stay. So shame on you too. Like they're taking your money and they're telling you in your face that they don't need nobody, but you still staying there because no, they're gonna look at my resume and they're gonna change. No, they're not gonna change their mind. At least they're looking at. At least they're telling you. Some other companies they don't, they don't even tell you, and a lot of times they. They're required to hold an audition, and even if they're not looking at yeah, anybody. Yeah, and, and if you think that sending a video is gonna maybe like, you know, oh, be different, because it's a video, I just smell it, and they're okay, they're not, they're, they wanna charge you for seeing the video too. So, some companies, let's not say for everybody, because there's some companies out there that are asking you to send the video first, and if they like you, they invite you to come personally to an audition, which I think that's the way it's supposed to be, which is, much more you know respectful to the dancer and the fellow artists that they are trying to audition but check it out let's go so how much the list one by one let's go so imagine to to see your video they have to charge you that's crazy you gotta you wanna get a job dancing but they're charging you to see you to f just that's just not make no sense like you haven't even been hired by the company give me money i want 25 dollars yeah. to see if you can dance if anything the the company itself needs to pay, pay the, the dancer, dancer because they are giving the skill exactly i mean like prefer like dancing all my life training you know you pay me you're gonna see me so pay me i'm gonna dance a little bit for you so pay me and you decide exactly. you want to hire me that's crazy anyway let's go very quick for dancers in the u.s if you're coming to New York and you're planning to do a tour of auditions or if mm -hmm. you're in the city, these are some of the auditions that are happening. We're going to give you the name of the company, the day of the audition, and then how much you have to pay. The rest, you have to look for it. <laughs> okay. There is an audition for... Uh, I don't know. Padre, bendición. Ash saludos. Saludos, Father. Okay. Ashkun Ballet. I, I, I don't know how to say Ashkun. Ashkun Ballet. That's a company that everybody wants to audition. I'm not a big favorite of this company, uh, but I get my personal opinions. Mm, yeah. You can go, I have a personal friend that was in that company and things are not too great. I don't want to talk about nobody. Okay. Anyway, this is my personal is... opinion. The thing is dancers are, are, are willing to audition for these people because somehow they provide US papers. Yeah, business. That's another thing with dancers that come to the city. Remember, if you don't have a good standing with the, the government, with your papers, most likely you won't get the job. It doesn't matter how good you are. That's something that nobody want to tell you. You look around YouTube and everybody, all these pretty women telling you about tips and shit for auditions, they're not telling you the truth. If you don't have a green card, a work permit, or you're not a citizen, you are probably not going to get the job. Yeah, very few companies actually are that able has to, to You have to be spectacular. Yeah, or have, or they maybe have seen you around dancing in another company and then they invite you over. Yes, like for example, you have a good career in, in Brazil and, and you decide to do it. You follow me? No, I'm just my... So, in Brazil and then you come over and you audition, but you don't have paper, but you wear a big shot back there. Well, that's different. They will look at you. Oh, you're really good. Let me just, yeah, I want you here. And they will do that. I think your friend from Cyprus saying hello. I don't know how to say Oh, hello. yes, Elena. Hello, Elena. Hello. Okay, so. That's what I lost my thought. Yes, anyway, so the Ashkun Ballet, it's on February 9th, and the audition fee is uh, $30. $30. So $30 and to you be seen. do through video. It's oh, the same right, thing. Yeah. You're going to have to pay $30. And these people, 
actually charge you more if you pay with credit card. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah they do. I so it's 35. I don't know. Details. Go to the website, figure it out. This is the edition day. Next. Then we have a very good example of what I was talking about yes, um, yesterday, a couple of uh, minutes ago about uh, Alonzo King's uh, Lions Ballet. They are doing things right. You're supposed to send their video for free. They view it and then they invite you, know, you to come in person. If they like you, they say, please, we want to invite you to come to the city and dance, uh, take a class with us and see if we can yeah, you work know, they, for us. They yes. give you a deadline and, until when to submit your video. So, and Alonso blah, blah, blah. King is a good company, guys. If you like contemporary, go do your thing, send in the video. And remember, you know, uh, they're very good. So, if you are not that good, maybe you train a little bit more. <laughs> and yes. Be ready, be ready, because you don't want to be disappointed. Too. You're going to spend more money shipping things there. So, American Contemporary Ballet, it's based in LA. They're coming to New York February 24th and they're charging $25 for the audition fee. 25 bucks, so you have a keep going. American Midwest Ballet, they're not coming to New York, but you can send a video. Uh, by it's by invitation only, only? so they will uh, also let you know if, if you, they want to see you in person. Yes, so you don't have to buy a flight ticket to go there. Atlanta, free? yes, uh, so it's free. That one is so free. Atlanta Ballet is uh, oh no fee. They the audition is February 18th, but you can also audition by video as well. So take advantage. That one is free. Next. <laughs> um. Another well, company doesn't really have a website. It's in the Bronx. Uh, it's free. Yeah, but what is the name? Palasol. Palasol, yeah. This is a contemporary I don't know, company. We, find a we looked website. for it and we didn't find a website. So uh, maybe don't go to that one. Um, Ballet Arizona, on their website, they're saying it's. Ooh, sorry. It's $35 to audition in New York and it's on uh, February 24th. $35. Uh, Ballet Arkansas. Ballet Arkansas, people, if you want to go all the way there, hey, yeah. Um, <laughs> she can read what yeah. she wrote. So, uh, so go there February 23rd or uh, or March 16th, New York, I think, $25. Or they can, they're, well, uh, Ballet Arkansas also, um, you can audition with a company class, but you need to pay $25 to take the company class. No, no, but hold on, but for that, you gotta be invited too. You, yes, know, you gotta send a video. You have to send a video, and then you go there and you have to pay $25 to see you in person. I don't know. Well, Something like that. You will be ready to be charged. Be ready. Everybody's gonna charge you. Ballet Austin, uh, it's already passed. It was February 2nd, and they were charging $25. Uh, Ballet Chicago, oh, that's a. Uh, Oh boy, yes, this one is heavy. Ah, woohoo! Okay, go for it. <laughs> Bala Chicago, they're charging uh, $30 for the audition, but the catch here is that this company does a national tour, tour. for their auditions and they're going to um, 25, 25 cities. cities. They're coming to New York February 10th if you want to go for $30. And we did them out here, so. They're going to 25 cities, and let's say on average, they have 30, 30 dancers, dancers on the studio. In the studio, you know, some cities may have less, some may, maybe more. So we just like took a, like the lowest average number. Yeah, because if we, when they come to New York, they're gonna be having probably a hundred people to 150, and sometimes they have to split yeah. the classes into. Yeah, or maybe 70 or 80. Who knows? So yeah, so we just did 30. So, really mathematics. 30 dancers in every city. How much will the company make? It's $22,500. Only in audition fits. And I understand that they're traveling there, that they are doing all of that, but for me, it becomes so suspicious. Like, let me see the name of the company. Ballet Chicago. Ballet Chicago, right? Uh, I mean, if it's Joffrey Ballet, I understand it. Ballet Chicago is not a really, I, 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 for me, I never. It's not that well. It's not like in the big radar, it's yeah. just a company. But by the Chicago is doing 25 cities, so they decided to take this thing serious, and it's one of the ones that charge the most. It's 30 dollars. Others are 25. Yeah. So, I'm not saying that they're making money out of it. You know. Maybe they're using for their expenses and everything. But well, what we're trying to say is that for any company, whatever kind of company it is, trying to find an employee, it, it should be part of your expenses as a business. So you're not charging. Like you said, a law firm is not gonna charge to go around to find the best lawyer. Same with dancing. Yeah, I mean, you wanna be in my firm, don't pay me. You wanna be in my show, you pay me. That's pretty much what they're saying. Yeah. 
Anyway, so continue. So that was a but the Chicago very interesting mentality. Yeah. Mentality. I mean, they're making a tour. A tour. It's a tour. It, 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 and who and knows? Who, who knows? Sometimes, the, uh, sometimes a lot of the companies they're doing that because also there it's a way for them to advertise upcoming upcoming shows and making fe people feel you know oh maybe uh, they're, doing the they're doing a lot. They're doing a lot. Oh my God! Look at these people. They're always I'll doing make, something. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, maybe I'll make it to the company, and by the time I get in there, that I will be in the show. I don't, I don't, you know. I don't. Know. Anyway, so next one, Ballet Fantastique. Never heard of this company in my life. I heard of that one. Ballet I was Fantastique. In companies. It's in Oregon, and it's um, they have audition in New York March 9th, and it's twenty dollars if you pre-register or twenty five dollars if you register in person. Next, Ballet Hispanico. It's already passed. Pass. Never February. mind. Never mind. Never mind. Pass. It was ten dollars. Ten dollars already passed. Uh, Ballet Long Island, you need to find out information. Yeah, Ballet, I, as if you're in New York, that's like a little company in Long Island, but I couldn't find a single thing. I guess you have to email these people and see if you can come and take class. Mm -hmm. Ballet with a twist, same thing in New York based uh, company, I think it's free, as, it's free as well. Yeah, yeah, but you have to contact them, email them, hey, you see know, I'm gonna say, you guys maybe want to let me come and take class with you. Uh, Charlotte Ballet, February. 10, uh, sorry, February 3rd, so it's already passed. Or you can submit the, your video online by February so, but, 15th. By the way, but oh no, if you, if it's an audition, this is my opinion, okay? It's my personal, I w this is what I will do. If I see an audition that already passed, I'm not gonna spend my money sending in a video. Because 99% they won't even look at your video. Who knows? They won't look at your video, woman. They have an audition with 100 people. They already find the people that if you want somebody. You think after that, a ballet teacher is going, oh, you know what, I got two candidates, but let me go home and watch my 200 more videos that they sent me and see what else can I find. No, they don't want to do that. You know that. Come on, let's be clear. I don't know. Don't spend your 30 bucks. Like, if you want to send the video, send it, like, before the audition happened. You know, like, it's just common sense. Or maybe in the middle of the season. You know, like, when auditions are not happening, you send a nice video, it's a little kind of quiet, you know, they have a little more time to, like, take a look. Oh, you know, that's what I would do. Well, anyway, we don't know. Up. Anyway, but it's also twenty-five dollars to submit your uh, video. Uh, Cincinnati Ballet. Cincinnati what? Cincinnati. 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 Whatever. Okay, that's a new company, New Yorker. Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Cincinnati what? Cincinnati. Cincinnati. <laughs> yes. Guys, go and audition for Cincinnati Ballet. Oh my God, you fool. <laughs> What? That's how I say it. Cincinnati. She's so cute. She's so cute. Do I say it right, people? Cincinnati. Let me let me know in the, in the comments. comments. <laughs> okay, let's go. So this new company, new Cincinnati. No Cincinnati. Cin <laughs> Something fell. Anyway, let's go. Oh my God! It's February twenty third, and it's uh, thirty five dollars to audition for that. Otherwise, if you are in union, you are free. Yeah, if you have danced before in another company, you're part of a union, they are not gonna charge you. Another one, Eugene Ballet. Never heard of it. Eugene. It's March 17th and it's $20. Okay. Another company, Momix, is not classical, but. 100% pure contemporary. So if you want to do contemporary because you didn't find a job in classical, okay, you know, go for it. Yes, it's April 7th, $10. For you only, ten dollars for you. Okay, so another one, Oklahoma City Ballet, February seventeenth, twenty-five dollars. N W Dance Project, N Oregon. N Oregon free. Free, but I didn't it find much. Past. Yes, it never past. move. There's another one, State Street Ballet. That's uh, international, right? Yes. But we said no, 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 no. That's here. Our anyway, neighbor. look for it. State Street Ballet, March thirty-first. $20 and the international company as well in Canada, Alberta Ballet. Uh, they have an audition in New York March 24th. I auditioned for Alberta Ballet a long time ago. $20. And that is packed. Oh, yeah? Yes, that's an audition that's always packed because oh. it's international and because a lot of international dancers think that, you know, they're going to hire them and it's going to be okay because it's Canada. I think it's okay in Canada. Yeah. So, just, I'm not saying don't go, I'm saying be prepared because it's going to be full, full, like packed, you won't be able to walk. Yes, so, 
the summary is that so Maria, hold on, Maria and I, or, or Maria, spent when she went to all three auditions, right? Let's say she went to all of them, she didn't get nothing. So how much uh, you spent? Let's say I went to all the auditions that happened in New York, and I submitted the video that to those that to those that are allowing videos, uh -huh. and I paid the fee for the video submission. So this amounts to the to what? Um, amounts. The amount is. I'm saying it right. I'm just saying it. This is a notes expression. It amounts to. I'm sorry. Yeah. Three hundred fifty-five dollars. What? Yeah. By the way, Ballet Popular Cup. Did you see it? You need to move it the other way. Ballet Popular. Do not spill the coffee on the phone, please. Oh. Anyway. This are not these are not for sale. We made this for ourselves. <laughs> So, $355 to audition for all this so, uh, company. I'm broke, I'm in New York City, wiping, wiping tables, working in a part-time shop, and then I spent 300 what? 355 $355, and I didn't get nothing, and on, well, nothing is wrong, I didn't get anything, and then on top of that, I lost days of work. Exactly. Thank you, ballet companies. Thank you very much. And on top of that, let's say you pay your metro card for the trains. Um, let's say you use like 30 rides back and forth to 15 companies, let's say. It's another 80 to 50. Another, let's say another $80. So, what happened if you come from a different place? I came from Oregon to New York for a month and a half to do this audition. We, don't even, we didn't even do the math. That would be like crazy. Let's say around three hundred dollars or four hundred dollars for the plane ticket. If you live around the the area and you can drive, you have a four friend that you can crash with. Mm -hmm. But well, the whole thing is it a rip off? I think it is. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, it just uh, it's it's unheard of in any other company or any other style of dance to charge you. So, by the way, this is not the first time somebody speak about this. There's a lot of yes. articles out there that talk and people that went to Europe and asked, asked some directors, asked some directors what they think them. and they were like they were shocked like, because they couldn't understand. understand why they would charge somebody to apply for a job. They were trying to understand the question. They were like... What? Like You got to pay to, 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 to just apply for the job? That makes no sense. <laughs> and you know, like... Um, I want to post a couple of the links of yes. the articles so you can read them. I'm not going to go on. We found, yeah, we, we found a couple of uh, good articles about that that you can read yourself too. We will link them below. Like below. <laughs> and um, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, this uh, the writer was trying to, um, to, to ask uh, these directors why are they doing that and they the conclusion was that there was no really justifiable reason why, why they were they charging, you know? Yeah, they're just charging. And exactly, and a lot of times now, in order to This is the, to this, this is what I say, this is what I say. Well, we're giving a class. So exactly. they're paying for the class. So they're justifying the fee because, you know, that the, the class is not really the audition yet, you know? They're providing class so the dancers can get so warm. yes you know you come into the class it's a pianist we're paying for all of that so that's why and you know what's the worst part that's all baloney what's the worst part do you know what's the worst part what is it <gasps> ow <laughs> sorry i've been working oh, no, out maria got big hangs right i've been working she out she was like that like that she smacked me hard like, like ow okay <laughs> the worst part is that a lot of times the auditions happen in part so they might cut let's say you the, the audition consists of three parts the ballet bar the center and uh, choreography let's say yeah they call so, you back and then you just do another part so they might even catch you after the bar or after the ballet class so you might you might not even be seen through the whole audition so why am i paying the do the 35 or whatever dollars and by the way by the way my people all that effort that you did and you put into putting those beautiful photos and resumes together they're gonna end up in the garbage. Yeah, that doesn't. You know what I mean? Like honestly, if somebody is going to like look for a dancer, I'll, this is a secret. I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna say the company that I was dancing with. I was gonna ask because you be, to because say that, that I, I sued that company. That's what I don't wanna talk about it because I hurt my back there, mm -hmm. and they were being really mean to me and really bad. So that's the reason I don't wanna specify what company it was. 
But this is what I learned being there. And it wasn't a big time. I wasn't there for a long time, but it was a hell of a year. Hated it. I was so depressed. <laughs> anyway, not really. That was actually the shittiest year of my life. That's how bad it was. So, in my experience there, they never hold, and this was a few years ago, they never hold open auditions. Mm -hmm. They never. So, the way I saw how they pretty much hire dancers is through word of mouth. Yeah. So I'm a company member and I remember that somebody wasn't doing too good, you know, and they're looking for some substitute. So they said they come around and ask every dancer, um, you know, hey, do you know somebody that maybe want to come over and do this? And then I didn't know anybody, but some people did. And then you know what? The next couple of weeks, I see people coming over and taking company class. But those are guests. These people are being invited. Huh. So you know, like guys out there that you're really putting your dreams and fighting hard, and making this happen. Ninety-nine percent of this company will hire in their house. In their house. Yeah, it's true. So if you're in New York City, you have three big companies in here: Alvinelli, New York City Ballet, and ABT. ABT have their own school. All, yeah, three, have, all, three have all of them school. have their own school and they will hire people from this school. Most likely, very no, rarely. Most likely, do. for real, that's it. They, they will hire you if you are a principal in another big company exactly. and then you come over and then, oh, you know, you we like you. Company, yeah. But that's, I, I don't want to be like, man, I'm breaking your dreams and you're saying like, just be re ready for everything else. Like, be ready, man. Like, don't be there like a kid thinking that your hopes. Friend. Even the guys and the kids that, I know, he's getting overheated. Yeah, even the guys and the kids that spend a lot of years in this school, sometimes they don't even get the job. I know. It's not that I get a job for other companies. So, how do we come to a point of addition? And you know, this is what people don't tell you. I don't want to be a pessimistic, but I was watching last night a video with Maria of this girl in YouTube giving audition tips, and the shit she was saying was so stupid. So I mean, it was. No, like, hold on, hold on. She was like, oh, she was really nice. That was dumb. It was just more like. Um, audition tips based on your look how to do your hair your makeup needs to do this you need this kind of leotard yeah like rest, yeah but for me for me it's like she's saying things like you gotta make sure i'm not gonna okay guys you gotta make sure that you know you stand out how do you do that pick a nice color of leotard so you can go with black you can go with red or you can go with burgundy people those are the three most common colors that people wear in audition you're gonna just wash out nobody's gonna look at you i don't know Pick a nice lavender, you know, I, you gotta think out of the box, you know, like, seriously, seriously, you gotta be, you gotta be bold. One time, I went to an audition. Oh, yeah, it's talent. I was crazy, because I was like, man, there is no way, you might think, you, you're lying, no, no lying, I'm for real, I was like, peace, I couldn't, um, sorry, and at that time, they were not charging that much. It was $15, I remember, I was like, damn, it's like my breakfast in here, but I gotta pay you. So, I went to this big company. Well, I can say I went to Houston Ballet Audition years ago. So, you know, I see this was packed. Hundreds of people waiting. You couldn't even move. So, but I went there early because I knew it was going to be like that. I was being like audition for a while already. Mm -hmm. So I was like, man, I always consider myself that I was just thinking out of the box. Always, you know, thinking a little bit of the box. It's up here. How do you get seen? How do you get like, actually, people paying attention to you? And I said like, you know what? Screw this. I'm going to just be late. So, this is what I did. I swear to my mama. Mama, I'm sorry, but I swear to my mama. Like, <laughs> I did this. I get there, like, early. You know, was it there? Warm up. Warm up a little bit. And I saw everybody there. Everyone. I get early, remember, but I did not register. You did not register. I did not register, because I'm not a fool. I don't want the number one. <laughs> so there, I don't want the first tip to audition. Do not get the first group, people. Do not get the first group. You want to get screwed. Unless you're that confident too. You're that you confident know, too. Like you guys... The first group, the directors are just waking up. They're not even paying attention. It's just like, okay, let me see. And then they start kind of warming up in the third, third group. So, seriously, if you want to go to an audition, get to the last group. The last, because that's what people remember the most. The last people they saw. That's a tip. That's like, you can tattoo that in your arm. Ow. In your arm. Anyway, so this is what I did. First or last, it can be a little bit better. Yes. First, they can, you know, they... they Maybe in my perspective, I think if I was watching in the first uh, group, I'm being more at, at, attentive. You know, I'm watching, I'm watching, watching, and I'm like, oh my god, again, I'm gonna see this combination. Yes, but you know, but the middle groups, it's mm. that's just like a no, that's like a wash out. Like there's like, just like nice. I, 
Next. This is yourself, and you pick a book, a big book. You maybe pay attention to the first pages and then you just keep going through. And then the last ones, oh, that's what you do. That's like yeah. common sense. Anyway, I went late. I was there early. I registered late. I get a number like 124. Remember, 124 is going to be the last people they're going to see. So that's good for me because on top of that, I'm going to be in the last parts of the bar. Because they go like mm -hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 124. So, but this is what I did. Man, that was the craziest thing I've ever done in my life. So, I, I was waiting, you know, and I can see they call everybody, and I was like about to go, no, 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 let me wait. I was like hiding. This audition was in Alvanelli. Alvanelli? Uh -huh. I don't remember. Or School of American Ballet, I don't remember. Probably. So, I actually went late. Like, the pianist started playing, and I opened the door. <laughs> you know, and then I walk, <laughs> and I walk in with my bag, and I look at everybody. Everybody, stop! They look at me. <laughs> he likes to draw attention. I do. I mean, I didn't. I need. I need to figure it out how to like kind of get on the way. Like, okay, look at me. I'm here. So I get there. You know, the ballet master kind of like go here. And then I put my bag there, right there, my guy, right there, in front of the director, in the, in the corner, the perfect spot. I did my thing, they cut my ass. Sorry, they cut, it was too many people, but I danced, I did my best. But I guarantee you, they noticed me. The only thing, you know, is a very double-edged sword. Because they might think, oh, but you're late. You're yeah. not like, you're not, you're not that, this is not that important to you that you're late. But it's not going to be late, I'm being smart, you know, I'm trying to figure it out. Like, okay, yeah, I'm late, but you notice me. We don't suggest you be. You know what I mean? Uh, and like, to be honest sorry. with you, to be honest with you, if you are talented and you're really good, that doesn't really matter. If if, if you are like, if you know you you got the game. If you are like, you're confident that you have your experience and you have done good things, that will that will matter. Oh, that mm -hmm. will like, but you can dance. Look at him. Maybe if it's your first time auditioning, you just go out of school. Maybe not. That's not the way to go. Hello, Aida. Thank you for watching. Right. Hello, my people. So yes, what I'm saying if here. You, if you're trying to land your first ballet job, first. I don't suggest you doing that. If, if this is your first audition, yeah. I mean, go early, do what everybody does, but if you're going to get a job, you're not going to get a job going first. If you're already a dancer somewhere, maybe you're a solid so, or something, you know? You yeah, want pretty, much, pretty much this is the end of the show, guys. I hope you like this. <sighs> you know, we, we talk a lot. Everybody will have their own personal experience when it comes to auditions, you know? What I'm trying to say is that dancers already work hard enough. The expenses to train in the first place are already And that's why I always high. said, you know, like you guys might think we're full of baloney. Let me just clarify baloney? for this like or baloney. Or shit. Sorry. Maybe. This is an adult. I don't curse that much, but sometimes my emotions come over. So yeah. I'm talking too much, but this is what I'm saying. We're living in an era. Wow. That everything is at your disposal. Okay? So what do I mean with that? You guys, ballet dancers out there, this message is for you. I am a ballet dancer and I was always very self-conscious of me putting myself on video. Oh yeah, who I'm, doesn't? I'm chunky, you know, maybe need to lose weight, whatever, you know, a lot of insecurities that we have, that's normal. But you need to get rid of that because the world is moving a hundred miles an hour through the internet, okay? So please do not get these companies take advantage of you. Mm -hmm. I know you want a job, I know you want to dance, but you are waiting around, going to audition, to audition, to audition. It's not going to do nothing. You know, take your phone, you know, go to the studio, rehearse something that you like, put it there, dance it, film it, post it, share it with your friends, ask them what you think. Do you like this? You know, go bold, go crazy. You know what? I got this tutu. Let me put it on. Talk to your teacher. You, you mind maybe coaching me a little bit and then I want to record it and then you do it together. You want to hire somebody to do it for you, do it. But you have a phone, it's free. Mm -hmm. You know, internet is free. Like, there, yeah. is, there is no middle man anymore. Like, honestly, you honestly, I don't believe you need to go to an audition nowadays. Like, mm. I, I think if you have good content in your staff, Instagram, Facebook, whatever you use, you know, that's you because people are watching. People are watching all the time. And don't, yeah, and remember too. Sometimes the the people that will see you in the, in the audition, most likely they, they they will check your social media first too. They might not they do hire. it right there, but they're gonna do it if they but like they, you. Yeah. Oh, this. And by the way, you don't. Let me tell you something. You know how many directors, producers from Broadway, musicians, actually watch Instagram feed, video feeds, and then something pops. 
you, you know, you, you need you need one video, you know, like that's another master there too because it's very competitive there to have your video being being seen. Yes, but you know, there. but it's better than have nothing. Yeah, like I've seen people that their Instagram is just two photos. You gotta dance, you gotta sh dance, you gotta show people the idea of 365 dances was to show people what we're capable of doing. And I know people laugh at us, and people are like, oh, but you're doing an astronaut ballet and all of that. Well, you know, shame on you that you're thinking that way because I guarantee you, 10 years from now, auditions might not even happen in person. Mm -hmm. That would be only like, you know what, we just uh, get the videos uh, right away. And that's it. And maybe if they like you enough, you say, you know what, well, can we like Skype live? And let me see you what you got. Anyway, mm -hmm. enough. So that was the show of the day. Are we good? Yeah, we great. Is and, that all? Um, yeah, you have a wonderful day, my people. We love you very much, and please don't let people take advantage of you. I know. You know, we wish you all the best of the luck because I know it's a lot of people that want to do this career, but you know, I don't know what to say sometimes because this is full of shit. I'm sorry, but it's so sad. You know, like people are making business out of this. Yeah. You know, like, it's people, like, struggling. You know, like, I put myself in their shoes. I don't audition anymore. I got my own thing. I'm focused on doing my dancing the way I dance. And maybe one day, I will, um... Uh... Hey, no, by the way, guys, big, 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 big announcement. If you're watching this, and you live in New York City, we're working in a new ballet. It's called oh, you're Jack Reckon Calico. Calico. So... What's going on with this? So pretty much, if you like us and you like what we do, and maybe you know you wanna be part of one of our videos or this ballet, just send us a link of your dancing. Yes. Okay. That is not honestly. This is not a paid job. Yes. No. I mean, we don't know. We getting we, we don't, we're not getting paid for this. This is us trying to build something. Eventually, in the future, it might be a well-funded company. But right now, this is baby steps. It's only Maria and I, and we're creating this nice kind of pirate ballet. Mm -hmm. So if Enjoy you want to be part of Ballet Popular, one of these cool videos that we do, just send us a link. Hey guys, you know, I'm in New York City. I would love to be part of one of your videos. And you know, how, what can I do? Send me a link. You know, if you're good enough, welcome. If you're not that good, we might even work with you. Because, you know, we are like that. We're cool. Yeah, you know, we, we, we work around, around right. you know. It's always something you can do. You can be a character dancer. You know, we can play around. We're not that kind of narrow, like, narrow minded. Mm -hmm. So, yes, audition notice for Ballet Popular. If you want to be part of one of our videos, make sure you send us a link of your dancing if you're in the New York City area. So, to be part of Jack Reckon Calico Ballet. Yes. Because, you know. And you know what? We it's were... free. You don't have to pay. You don't have to pay for audition. Nothing. They're free. If we you wanna give, if you wanna, if you not give me two hundred bucks, I'll take them. No, no, I'm just kidding. But it's free, really. Send us a link, and then please, you know, it'd be great to have new people come over. Yeah, and, we we were dance. thinking, you know, it's a way for us to do. It. It's possible for us to do it just the two of us, you know, play different characters. I was thinking, I was actually thinking to replicate myself that. twenty times to play and different parts. another twenty times. We could do it, but it take roles. a lot of work. Yes. So if you wanna be part of this amazing ballet. Just let's, let's make sure you send us a little link. Hey, this, it doesn't matter, by the way. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a show link. You know, something you're in the studio, put a little dance together, a little intro. If you don't have anything, just go to our library, pick one of the dances that we have done, or solos of money of mine, learn it, and send it to us, and then we will let you know if you can come and, you know, be part of it. Exactly. Okay, so please do that because we're working on that right now. So if you, if you do it too late, it's not gonna happen because we might already have the people. Anyway, mm -hmm. that was the show of the day. Instagram, thank you for watching. Anyway, again, Instagram, if you wanna be part of one of our videos. Oh, yes. Send us a link. Boom, boom. Oh, send us your Instagram. Exactly. So like that, we can go and check you out. If you're here, come over. No, a pay, not a paying job. Not a paying job. No. Okay, I'm not gonna give you 300 bucks. No happening. But you're gonna have a great piece of ballet and a nice video that you can share with your friends and even directors. Exactly. So, but we're not getting paid. If we were getting paid, no, we. Different. I mean, this we want to do. Hey, we want to do this for a living. That's what we're working for. You know, exactly. be able to help people and do this and do more tutorials and you know, open a school and things like that. But that's like a step by step. We're still it's not one baby thing, yeah. steps. We're still we still have our part-time jobs. We still like trying to make some money to support <laughs> all of this. Yeah. And you know, that's the way it works. 
But anyway, my people, thank you for watching. And again, if you want to be part of our Calico Ballet, please send us a link, your Instagram. We need to see you what you got and then come over and be part of it. Thank you for watching. I hope we helped in any way possible through this um, probably stressful audition season. And we'll see you next week. Okay, and we'll see week. you next week. Yes, we have we'll another topic. I don't know what we're going to talk about, but next week we'll be know. here we'll again. Decide. And you two people, right now, I'm going to shoot some tutorial thing. So, Ooh. tutorials are really, really ready, 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 ready. I know I keep saying that, but yeah. I know. Well, they're actually coming they're out. Coming, yeah. I already, we're already filming. I just need to put them together. That's all. Yes. Anyway, God bless you all. Have a good day. I will see you next week. Have a great day. See you next week.